the digital customer. Companies that rely on online leads, check this out, are 100% more profitable than those that don't. That's 100%, that's double. Whatever a company makes, if they depend on online leads as a way to drive their business, they're gonna be twice as productive, 100%. 15% of all sales that take place on this planet will be transacted through the web. And I think it'll go higher than that. I think you'd agree. 50% of all customers today spend more than 75% of their shopping time in research on a website. It takes eight attempts, keep this in mind, we're talking about follow-up, it takes eight attempts to reach a prospect, to reach one after they've hit a website and shown interest. Okay, so do you know what this means? I have to make eight attempts to reach them after they've shown an interest. These are facts you need to know so we know how to handle and deploy our activities and our people with digital. The average attempt to reach a prospect today from a company that is online using digital is only two attempts. How many attempts does it take? Eight attempts before you reach them and then eight more to finish them, okay? So it's a tremendous amount of strategy, but all this money is going to the internet, this digital dollar, if you will. Did you know if you follow up a lead within five minutes, you increase your chances of converting that web lead nine times? If I just do it quick, did you know the average response time by a company depending upon the internet for leads, spending money on the internet for digital traffic, the average response time is 44 hours? I didn't say minutes, 44 hours, okay? Look, I forgot I hit your website at 44 hours. At four hours, I forgot your hit, I hit your website. At 40 minutes, it'll be a remote distant pass. 80% of all leads today require five follow-ups, five follow-ups for you to close them. 50% of all sales go to the first person that follows up that internet hit. Nurtured leads make 47% larger purchases than others that aren't nurtured. Visuals are processed at 60,000 times faster than a text or data. Why am I telling you all this? You're like, why am I listening to all this? Listen to what I'm telling you. I am leaving clues for you. I'm leaving the breadcrumbs to your future on how you want to handle digital. Per dollar, content marketing produces three times as many leads as any other form of advertising. This is not going away. Everybody's going to be going to the web for advertising, branding. Social media is maximizing on it. People are more likely to interact with a branded content on a social media site that contains pictures, 44%, status updates are 40%, video is a low 37%, just an image, a photo, and that was done by Performix. You can see the rest of the uh, places where we got some of this data at the end of, the vi uh, uh, at the end of this presentation. 59% of consumers are influenced by online ads, 59% are. You might want to spend some money in advertising on the internet. 72% of in-stream video content is watched by competition. 72% of in-stream online video ads are watched not by the competition, but to completion. That's by Google. Do you understand what I just said? Those ads that you skip over, 72% of them are watched to completion. 46% of smartphone owners today have viewed a mobile ad and, check this out, 64% of those have resulted in a purchase. That was by Hip Cricket, which I'd never heard of until this. Spam averaged between 71 and 80% of all emails sent globally. What does that mean to you? It means email is not effective. That's why I hate email. Oh, did I say I hate email? 71 to 80% of all emails sent globally during the fourth quarter of last year were spam. Organic search drives, 41% of traffic to B2B sites of which Google, by the way, accounts for 90%, while social contributes to an average of only 5% of traffic and leads. That tells you you got a lot of this traffic coming through Google. Up to 80% of users ignore paid ad on search engines. Check this out though. What does that mean? It means people are going organic, blogs, strategies. It, it, they're reading articles rather than looking at ads, so that's where you need to be. 37% of customers today who purchase online then get in their car and go to the store to make the purchase. It's freaking wacko. 
What are they trying to avoid? They're trying to avoid something, some experience they have in the store and or there's something that's happening online that they like better. Tablet owners, check this out. For those of you who have a tablet of some sort, they're twice as likely as a smartphone owner to purchase a good or a service. That's a 38% on tablets and only 19% on a mobile device, a phone. 28% of the U.S., the entire population, 28% of 311 million people own a tablet. 56% own a smartphone. And consider that 22% of all customers learned about their last product, the last product they purchased, car, plumbing, you name it, tile for their kitchen. They purchased the product and found out about it on the internet. Consider that 88% of all U.S. population has a cell phone, 57% has a laptop, 19% has a tablet, 64% of smartphone owners today use a mobile to shop online. And YouTube, the average person watches 48 videos a month on YouTube. 91% of online adults use social media regularly. E-commerce accounted for 10.6% of U.S. discretionary spending just last year. That's the high share of any quarter on record. Okay, why am I telling you all this? What does it all mean to you? Well, first of all, take any one of these facts and tweet, add Grant Cardone, and I'm going to send you a free gift on a strategy that, you, that will guarantee make you more effective with digital shoppers. Look, you got to get your game on with digital. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter whether you're in finance, mortgages, whether you're in real estate, you sell automobiles, you, you put uh, pl uh, fixed plumbing in a home, you're a chiropractor or a dentist, regardless of what you do, you have to pay attention, attention to this digital space. It's changing the way people buy things and it's going to change the way you sell follow-up and we're going to be sharing with you the way to take advantage of the opportunities of these boring statistics, if you will, that are almost overwhelming. So tune in, pay attention, and let's get you game ready to become a digital, digital genius.